Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix iMessage not working on your iPhone, iPad, or any Apple device. You want to follow these steps to fix it. So let's get started. Generally, the first thing you want to check out is that you have a good, strong internet connection, usually through Wi Fi or cellular data. You can also check this out by going over to a browser and seeing if you get connected to a website. And once you do that, the next thing you're going to do is pull down the control menu or in your settings, just Turn on the airplane mode briefly and turn it off and that does a quick network refresh. Now after you have done that, the next troubleshooting you want to do is if you have, let's say you're trying to message someone on iMessage and it's not working or delivering, just close out the app, relaunch it, try to send it again. Also try to test it by sending it to someone else. It could be the person that you're trying to uh, send iMessage to might not be connected to the internet or if they recently changed over to like Android or something they're not going to get iMessage so that's something to consider. Now after you have done that the next troubleshooting you want to do is go into your settings and you're going to look for the iMessage settings. Now it's going to be either under the apps or in the main settings and then look for iMessage. So I'm going to go look for iMessage in this setting here so it's going to be under the messages section so let's go ahead into the M section here. So messages right here, or you can search for it. Now once in your messages here, all you're gonna do is simply see that iMessage. We're gonna just simply turn that off for a moment here and then turn it back on. It's gonna reactivate the iMessage on your account here. Along with that, you wanna verify that here you have your uh, email address or your phone number listed so that you can be reached at that contact. Now. If it's still not working, go ahead and do the next step, which is going to be, you're going to want to go back to the main settings here. And then this time under general, go to date and time. Here you want to make sure that time zone is correct and the date is and time is correct. If not, you can turn this off and set it manually as well on your device. Because what's going to happen is if you don't set this correctly and you moved, let's say you're traveling or something, it's going to not work with some of the key services on Apple uh, phone. So that's something to do as well. Now, let's say it's still not working. The next thing you want to do is go back into your main settings and let's go to our apps and then messages section. Again, one more time here, we're going to do messages. And right here for messages here, you're going to tap on your uh, account here. You're going to sign out and then sign back in as another way as well. So go ahead and do that. And then after you have done that, and let's say it's not working here, you're gonna go ahead and try to update your phone software. So in your settings, go to general, software update, and go ahead and update your phone. Sometimes a previous update might have caused issues where it's not working correctly. It's always good to update your phone. And after you have updated your phone, go ahead and follow this step as well. You're gonna quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black, the Apple logo appears. So it's quickly press and release volume up, volume down, then I hold on to the side button just like that. And it's gonna say slide to power off, but do not touch that. Just simply keep on holding that button down until the screen goes completely black. And once you see the Apple logo appear, you will let go that side button. Now this method, is safe it will not delete any of your data it's simply shutting down the phone software reloading the code so again very safe to do and if it doesn't work the very first time just keep on trying it sometimes it takes a few tries to get the hang of this method so we're going to wait for the phone here and then go back into the phone here now so it's still not working the next thing to do is go into your settings this time we're going to go to general scroll all the way down to transfer reset iphone Click on reset and we want to do a network reset. Basically a network reset, it's going to reset any uh, network related settings. So if you had any setting that could be preventing the network not working correctly, it'll put that back to factory default that's saved Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connected devices, but it will not delete any of your data. So go ahead and do that. And the last step of this troubleshooting is to make sure that for some reason Apple servers aren't down. So go to any browser and you're going to search up Apple system status and if you go to this first link it basically gives you all the Apple services of their server that are running you want to make sure it says available for iMessage so let's go ahead and see if it says available that's good if it says unavailable 
they may be working on something and they usually fix it within a few hours, maybe at a day at most, but it's something to also check for. So that's how you can fix iMessage on your iPhone not working. I hope this video is helpful. If so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.